Conor McGregor is finally back in the USADA testing pool, according to his Instagram and Dana White at a press conference earlier this week. So now that Conor's in the testing pool, what does this mean for his next contest? I'm Wyatt, and this is Fight Society. Conor posted this on Instagram, indicating that he had, quote, submitted his stuff to Nowitzki, meaning Jeff Nowitzki, the USADA liaison to the UFC, and that he was going to be training at altitude for his next bout. There's a few things that I'm not completely convinced of. One, Conor has said a ton of things in the past, and while people think that Connor has a lot of pull, the fact is, is that he doesn't have as much power as he says he does. Like he said, Connor was going to bypass the six month testing pool or avoid USADA altogether. As we can see, USADA won that fight. Now, another reason that I'm skeptical is that USADA has not confirmed that Connor is in the testing pool. Well, maybe they would only feel the need to speak if he had spoken incorrectly, because in the past, Connor said that he was going to fight on a certain date in December and USADA clarified that he was not in the pool in time to compete in December. So USADA has shown a pattern that they will correct people if they say wrong things. So USADA not making a comment yet has me confused as to what's true and what's not. On top of being unconvinced that Connor's actually in the USADA testing pool right now, I'm actually unconvinced that he's gonna fight Michael Chandler in his next fight, and even further, I'm not even convinced that he's going to come back yet. I saw that Drew Dober just said that he wants to fight some big names. And if more time goes by without a date being put out there for Connor versus Michael Chandler, I think Michael Chandler is going to start to get antsy because he's old. Michael Chandler's in his late 30s. And if he wants a title shot, he's got to put a few fights together because I believe he's two and three in the UFC. If he's not going to fight Connor soon, then he needs to go get another fight so he can start working towards a belt. Even though Connor and Dana have both said that Michael Chandler is going to be the next opponent, I'm still kind of unconvinced. Now, with the six month timetable, Table set by USADA from the time Connor submits his paperwork and gets tested to the time that he can actually compete. I think they're lining him up to compete at UFC 300. Now, are they going to do Connor versus Michael Chandler at UFC 300? Because honestly, I could see Nate Diaz sliding into that slot and UFC 300 being the Connor versus Nate trilogy. Now, this is just a bunch of ideas, but I think regardless, Connor's going to be held out until UFC 300, most likely. But we're hearing a lot of things, and I'm not really sure what to believe from Dana or Connor. I really don't know what to believe from Connor, if anything, these days. He just talks a lot. Do you think that Connor is going to fight Chandler in his return to the UFC? And do you think Connor ever fights again? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Go watch this suggested video, and I'll see you next time.